Hi everyone. So this video is to help my flute players out. Um, just reviewing what we did in lessons about how to make a sound. So this part of your flute is the head joint and this is called the lip plate. And in the lip plate is the tone hole. And you have to blow across this hole to get a sound. So um, you're gonna hold the head joint so that it's pointing to your right. Okay, if you don't know your right from your left, ask your grown-ups. Um, and then your lip is going to feel the edge of this tone hole right in the middle of your lip. Okay, and then if you've got that in the right spot, it's going to your lip is going to cover the tone hole about that much. Okay, make to make it smaller and kind of easier to blow across. Okay, so I'm going to take the edge of that tone hole, put it right against my lip. Okay, and then I'm gonna sit up nice and tall. Make sure the hole is also right under my nose. Okay, and I'm gonna blow across the hole. So I'm gonna take a deep breath. And notice how close together my lips are. So your lips barely open. And a lot of times I see kids going, and they have a huge opening in their lips and that's why they can't get a sound. So to keep your lips together, you can think of the syllable p, p and kind of think about blowing your lips apart from closed. Instead of starting with them open and closing them, start with them closed together, touching, and then let the air kind of open them just the tiniest bit, okay? So again, find that edge touches your lip. You can feel it almost kind of cutting into your lip a little bit. And it's right under your nose. The hole is right under your nose. You take a deep breath and blow across the hole. And that's the sound you want. Now, if it's not working for you, here's some things to try. You might be blowing down into the hole too much. Okay. You might be blowing up too much. Okay. You might be blowing too hard. Um, you might be blowing too soft. So you have to try these different things until you get it to work and make that sound. You've got to kind of be a scientist about it. You got to try different things, experiment until you find what works. Okay. So the edge of the hole against your lip, lips together. And almost a p. Okay, and you want to blow for as long as you can. Ready? Big breath. Okay, once you've got that going, you can do some other things with this. I'm going to try covering the end, but blow the same way. Or even maybe a tiny bit more gently. Gets that nice low sound. When you get that happening well, then you can stick your finger in the end and make it kind of like a slide whistle. Okay, so that's another way you can make a sound. More ways to practice, more ways to try. Once you are getting a sound, most of the time, okay, and you're going to have to practice. Find the magic spot, get the sound, take it away, find it again. Okay, once you've got that happening most times, then we're gonna try chopping the sound up with our tongue. Now we've practiced this with our big group lessons, right? I made every single person in the group say two, 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 right? So say it again, two, 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 two. Then whisper it, two, 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 two. Excellent, now take a deep breath and blow through that whisper, ready? Then see if you can do it across your head joint. Big breath. If it's not working, say it again. Two, 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 two. Whisper it again. Try it again. Once you are doing that consistently, then you can try it the other ways. 
So you are going to just try to find that magic spot and make a nice long sound. Then you're going to try to say two, 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 whisper two, 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 and then play two, two, two on your head joint. Those are the things that you're practicing this week so that when we can put our instrument together and start having different notes, you can't have different notes until you can make a good sound. So this is step one, okay? Have fun with it, keep trying. If you have questions, send me an email, come to an office hour and we'll get you going. Thanks.